Today I'm downloading and installing VMagent for Windows on a brand new Windows 10 build 1903 system. You may wonder why would I do that? Why would I back up a brand new system? Well, I've got VPN settings. I've got a bunch of stuff I'm doing to this laptop before I take a trip. And if just something bad happened to the laptop on this trip, well, I'll have an easy way to restore and get right back to where I am today. So there you go, build 1903. How do you find VMagent, uh, the free download? Well, search for download VMagent for Windows. The very first non-add link brings you here. And actually you'll see I'm logged in. You may have to create a free account if you haven't done that before. And uh, we now see the download page. Okay, and the download begins. Can read the release notes in the meanwhile. But you'll see it's very straightforward. If for whatever reason you haven't backed up your laptop, uh, backing up to a USB drive, or in my case a network share, is an awesome first step <laughs> to protecting yourself for the inevitable badness that will happen to any machine. All right, so I double click the zip, and then I double click the exe file within the zip. Now we just wait for the installer. This is a older Lenovo Yoga. I think it's like six years old at this point. So not the speediest system out there. All right, so we have a user access control pop up here. And now we just wait. All right, I had a micro SD card in there and it was taking a little while to scan it, um, but that's not what I wanted to back up to anyway. So they're telling you to plug in an external drive or whatever. Um, and I usually do it over a network share. So I'm going to skip this. Installation successful. Next thing, run Veeam Recovery Media. So if something bad happens, you need to be able to boot off of USB and find a way to, well, boot from that USB device and then find your backup to restore it. Say, I don't know, crypto locker attack or something. Okay, so it's gonna, by default, save it with the drivers that you need to recover this particular machine. All right, another little trick. You don't need to wait for it to finish. You can drag this out so we can always see it, so we can see if our backups are working. And we can go ahead and launch the product while this ISO is being built in the background. Nice, right? All right, now I actually do have a license file. Now you don't need the license file if you just want the free version. There are some additional features in the workstation version, including daily backups even when you're not connected back to your home network, like in my case. Um, all right, so the backup, sorry, the recovery media is still being created in the background. Meanwhile, I can go ahead and create a new backup job. Add a new job. Okay, in my case, shared, but notice all the different options you have here. There are many. Cool, right? Including even Microsoft OneDrive. Mine, mine requires credentials. It's not advised to talk while you're typing a password. Okay, it found free space. That's good. 14 days is enough for me. But, I want to show you some options. Backup cache is very handy. This machine is very low in storage though, so if you try to click next and you don't create a path, well, you got a problem there, so let me just... Uh, Something like that'll do. All 
All right, do we want it to wake up? This is really cool. If your laptop is plugged in, but powered off, it'll wake up in the middle of the night, do a backup and go back to sleep. So I'm gonna leave that alone. And do we want to allow the power plane to allow daily wake, wake up to sleep? So you need to say yes for that to work. But be aware, if you leave your laptop plugged in in a hotel room, it's going to power up in the middle of the night. So you may or may not want that feature. But if it's going to uh, not be a problem, then I would say yes. Uh, this particular laptop is about to travel with me, so yeah, I don't need backups that bad. I'm going to say no for now. Okay, run that first backup. And now it's cruising along. Meanwhile, the recovery media, it's already done. All right, so my very first backup job is now proceeding. And is there anything else to show you in the GUI? Well, the help about screen shows that you can check for a new version and update right from there, right? Or you can just, um, let's close that UI. Notice it's animated down here saying something's happening. And if we open it, we should get the default view of the backup in progress. And that's exactly what I'm getting. And we can say uh, how long the backup takes versus how many gigabytes. Now this first backup is going to take extra long. I happen to have a wired connection that's desirable for the first backup versus wireless. But um, that's about it. Okay, I already have videos that show bare metal recovery and all that. Now you have a sense of about eh, under 10 minutes work from first logging in, to downloading, to installing, to creating your first backup job, and creating your recovery media. Uh, if you don't know how to create a bootable USB drive out of an ISO file, well, that recovery wizard, if you put a USB drive in, um, will actually offer to format the USB drive and make it bootable as well. So, hopefully you found this video helpful. Now you know you have no excuse not to back up your Windows machine if it has any data of any value to you whatsoever. Thank you for watching.